The price high for transparency. Tonight, Chief Rodney Monroe laid out his expensive plan to equip all CMPD officers with body cameras. WCCB Charlotte's Adrena Vegas is live at the Government Center with more on what the Chief is asking for. Adrena? Tonight the, chief asked, tonight, the chief says he wants all of his officers on the street to wear body cameras. So tonight he's requesting 1,400 cameras at the big price tag of $2 million. Of course, the purpose of this is truth and transparency, but the big concern is who can see the video recorded. It's always about trust. It's always about uh, efforts to build that trust. To maintain that trust. That's why CMPD Chief Rodney Monroe wants 1,400 officers trained and equipped with body cameras by September. If approved, training and use would start in March, and two divisions would roll out cameras each month. And like one city councilman tweeted, it ain't gonna be cheap. At a price tag of $2 million the first year and $7 million through 2019. Even before pre Ferguson, uh, we saw the value. Uh, in the cameras, uh, even during the DNC when we first implemented them. Officers turn the cameras on and off themselves, but officers cannot change or delete video. They must turn cameras on during traffic stops, stop and frisk when there is suspicion of criminal activity, arrest, use of force, during searches of people or property, if a citizen makes a request, and when an officer activates blue lights and sirens. I think a lot is being placed on this idea that the video is going to help us increase public trust, but the release of the information doesn't seem to me to help that at all. Like in other cities across the state and country, the recordings are part of the officer's personnel file and not public record. Well, right now, there is no state law that gives us the clear ability to allow anyone to see body-worn camera video because the law that was written back in 19. 97 body cameras didn't exist. Chief Monroe told City Council he wants to go to the state legislature to ask for a local modification to a North Carolina personnel record law. It would allow a person alleging a complaint against an officer to view a video recording of the incident. When it comes to paying for these cameras, City Council last year approved using $250,000 in confiscated drug asset money, and the Police Foundation also kicked in $250,000. That still leaves $1.5 million, and according to this cost breakdown, that'll come from a capital fund. It's comprised of three funds already in place. City Council will vote on this proposal on January 26th. Live in Uptown Charlotte, Adrena Vegas, WCCB News.